This video comes as a request from a subscriber. LD said, AG, can you do a machine tutorial on the unique feature when making scenes and patterns? I think this feature keeps you from having to go in and make different patterns. This is a lifesaver if that's true. Well, LD, today I'm going to show you exactly how I make and arrange my beats and machine. Hopefully you'll get some clarification on this. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, what's up guys? We back into the machine software. Before we get started arranging this beat, um, I want y'all to know that it's a couple of things that we have to do in order for this to work correctly. The first thing that I do when I'm arranging my beats is instead of using multiple sounds on the same group, I only use one sound per group. And that allows me to use the groups as tracks, as if you were in a linear door, okay? So here we go. Okay, so basically that's my main sample, right? So what I would do then is I would go in here, see where it says group A1? I would double click right there, and then I'm gonna label that my main sample. That way I'll know which track is what, and I can edit accordingly. All right, so let's go ahead and put main sample there. All right, boom, that's done. All right, so then from there I would go say to the next group okay so that's my drums and I would do the same thing go to group B1 label that drums done all right and then I'll just keep on going okay that's a piano so I will go ahead Label that piano. From there, we would go to the next one. Okay, so that's a synth line. So we have that. Let's go ahead and double click there. Name that synth. All right, so let's go to the next one. Do you think it? Do you think it? Think it? All right, so that's vocals. Let's go ahead and double click there. Name that vocals, vox. All right, and let's go to the last one. Okay, and what I did there was a low pass filter on the main sample. So I'm gonna put sample low pass. All right, so. Everything we're gonna be doing right now, as far as building a track, is gonna be in ideas mode. Now, everything is gonna be based around the scenes. Think of scenes as parts of a song, all right? So, as far as songs go, we have six basic parts of a song, all right? You know you have your intro, you know you have your verse, you know you have your chorus, you know you have your pre-chorus, you might have a bridge on some songs, um, depending on if it's hip hop or not, probably, you know, you probably won't have it. And then you have your outro. So what we want to do now is take our scenes and make the parts of the songs that we want. All right. So say the first scene is going to be our intro. So let's go ahead and just, you know, double click scene one and put in intro. And a lot of times what I do is when I'm making my intro and outro, it's pretty much the same thing. So. But now what I want to do is I want to just unmute everything. That way all the elements are playing together. So let's check that out. So now we have, that's everything, all the elements that are included in this beat. So for the intro, what we want to do is drop a lot of that stuff out. We just want to have certain elements playing because we want to build up to the song. All right, so we know we're going to take the drums out. So all you have to do is click on the drums, pattern one. So now they are muted. All right, so we're going to keep the main sample in. Um, let's see. We can 
We're going to take the Vox out because that's only going to come in on a hook. Um, let's see. And let's take the low pass sample out. And let's just listen to it and see if that's a good intro. All right. So let's play it back. Okay. Now I know right there that that doesn't really sound good to me. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring in the low pass filter and see how that sounds with everything. Okay. I like that. But what I want to do is I'm going to take the synth out because I'm, I'm thinking that I'm just going to bring that in for the hook just so everything is playing at the same time. So we want to click on, um, you know, pattern one for um, the synth and that's going to mute it. So here we go. Okay, I like that. That's our intro right there. So we're going to go with that. The next thing we want to do is click this plus. So that's going to open up another scene. That's going to create another scene. So what we're doing now is we want to go from the intro. Sometimes people go straight into the hook or the chorus. And sometimes people go into the verse. Uh, what we're going to do here in this situation, we're going to go into the verse. So we're going to double click that and let's go ahead and name that verse. All right. So verse, we starting back from scratch again. We don't have anything selected. So we know we want the main sample. So let's click uh, pattern one on the main sample. And we know we want the drums to come in now because that's going to start our verse. So let's go ahead and click that. Um, we want the piano. Let's click the piano. Uh, we know we're going to save the synth and the vox for our hook. So we're not going to click that. And then we want the low pass to come in as well. So let's go ahead and play that back and see how it sounds. All right, perfect. So we know we got our intro, we got our verse. Um, the next thing we wanna do is, uh, we can name this or title this as the pre chorus or pre-hook um but what i like to do a lot of times is drop some things out just before everything comes back in for the hook um just because it creates some type of tension and release so what we're going to do is we're going to double click this and we're just going to name this pre-hook all right and with this one right here uh let's go ahead and bring the main sample in we're going to have the drums playing the piano playing and Let's, matter of fact, we're going to have the low pass sample plan and let's take out the uh, the main sample. We're going to take the main sample out and we're just going to have the drums, the piano, and the low pass. Let's listen to that. All right, that sounds good. So now we have our intro, our verse, and we have our pre-hook. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring everything in for the hook. And we're gonna double click on scene four. We're gonna name that hook. All right, so everything, just click everything, all the different elements that we have. All right, so now we have our hook. That's when everything comes in. Let's play it. Perfect. That's everything right there. And the last thing we want to do is, because like I said, in most hip hop songs, you you know you don't really have a bridge. So in this particular um, instance, we're going to create an outro. And basically, let's double click that. And basically, what the outro is going to be is the same thing that the intro was. So let's look at the intro. We we got you know the main sample, the piano, and the low pass playing. So let's go ahead and do that. Main sample, piano, 
low pass. All right, done. That's all we had to do to arrange a machine. This is what makes it so easy. All right, so now from here, we just click this little icon again. That takes us back to the arrange view. And from here, it's simple. It's a breeze. So we just click on the plus to create a scene. Right click. We want to go down to select. Scroll over to intro. We got our intro. All right. The next thing we want to do is click the plus again because we're creating another scene. So right click, come down. We're going to put our verse. All right. Next thing, click the plus, come down. We're going to put our pre hook. All right. And sometimes if the screen gets too big, you can uh, resize it to adjust it. The next thing we want to do is hit the plus. Uh, select now we're gonna add our hook and in this particular song right here I want to add you know I want to double up on the hook so we're gonna click the plus sign again and we're gonna add another hook all right and then from there from the hook we're gonna hit plus right click and now we're gonna go and add our outro all right so let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see everything Pretty much that's our whole song created right now. And, you know, most rap songs right now is um, only two verses. Every beat is different. So you just go based on feeling, on vibe, whatever feels good to you at that time. And, um, you know, build your beat accordingly. So basically, this is the whole beat already arranged and machined. And I'm just going to drag this loop bar over to one. And then we're just going to hit play. And you should hear the whole beat arranged just how we wanted to do it. And it's just that simple. All right, let's listen back. That's pretty much how you arrange and machine the easy way using ideas. All right, so I hope y'all found this useful. And um, if you did, make sure you like it, uh, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more content coming, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.